But here, I feel like the people are very open. And since we're like foreigners. How clean the waterways are. Spotless waters. You go to New York or Boston, in that water, there's dead bodies. There's <laughs> I also said that it's like crazy because you finish work so late. And even after work, you go out for drinks and then start early again the next day. Hey guys and girls on Ash Japanese, it's Kathy Cat. Today we're gonna go hit the streets of Tokyo and ask the foreigners here what they would praise and do not praise about Japan. Let's find out and ask foreigners in Japan. Can you say one thing you would like to praise about Japan and one thing you would not praise about Japan? I really love the people, how kind and open they are to like foreigners coming in town. What I wouldn't praise, I am a smoker and there isn't like enough places to smoke. Yeah. So I think the places were smoking. Have you struggled quite finding a place to smoke then? Well, there's a place like right behind my place where I live. So it's fine. But if I'm like out and I really need a quick smoke, it's hard. I have to like look up in a map for the smoking place and it's like three kilometers away. It's hard. But I mean, maybe I'm going to be healthy when I come back home. <laughs> Wait, there's a map that shows you where the smoking areas are? I don't know about that. Can you yeah, tell me? I just like type in a map like smoking area and it like shows up where smoking areas are. But it's pretty far. It's not like everywhere. So have you tried smoking cafe? some cafes let you smoke inside they do actually yeah there was one right at Shibuya which was amazing yeah. but it's not in every cafe so half half and you said um, can you tell me another thing you would like to praise about Japan that is not the people the food amazing food and I would like say nightlife as well it's like very crazy and I feel safe here like back home I wouldn't feel safe at all Okay, you said the nightlife is very crazy. Where did she go? What did she do? So since I'm here only a week, I went to one club in Shibuya and I went with like my other model friends. It was amazing. We got free drinks, like amazing. And the guys are here super fucking hot. So I'm enjoying the guys. I would say yeah, so. you said Japan feels very safe. Because like back home, since I'm like gay, it's very hard for me to just like walk up in a street. But here, I feel like the people are very open. And since we're like foreigners, I feel like they're open to that as well. Like, I don't know how it is with like gay people being in Japan, if it's open or not. But I feel safe here. Like, I don't feel judged. I don't feel like somebody would just walk up to me and say like, f*** off and stuff like that. I feel safe here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. One of my friends has been on Drag Race oh. and they said they can literally wear this here. Well, back home, they would be in so much danger. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel very safe and not judged. And I love it. Like, back home, no. I would praise the how clean the waterways are. Went to Kyoto and it was like spotless waters. You go to New York or Boston, in that water, there's dead bodies, there's, <laughs> <laughs> there's dead animals, there's trash, there's poop, there's pee, all of that. Here, it's just super clean. You can look right down to the bottom. It's crazy. You look surprised. Now you look surprised. I have you surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised. What, there's like dead animals and trash and all kinds of stuff in your waterways there's definitely bodies in new york waterways i mean i've never seen it but i'm sure there are 100 oh, it's like I an almost, american tv show yeah i can almost guarantee it i mean that's all right you'll be okay you'll be safe <laughs> i talked to your diet why are your waterways so dirty why is it so dirty because it's the united states <laughs> it's the u.s and people don't care i don't know Whoa. so compared to that how did the waterways in kyoto look like beautiful clear you can see right down to the bottom i would drink out of the water but i wouldn't it looked clean enough to drink out of it Basically. The waterways, what else would you praise about Japan? The culture. I definitely, I like it way better out here. Just everything in general compared to the US is 10,000 times better. Like a situation I had like back on the nice people thing, I was going out of a store and I was trying to hold the door open for someone and they were insisting for me to go first. And I was like, all right, I'll go. Like, and then the clothes, the shoes, like the everything just everything so you had like a moment where you're like go go and then like no no you go and you're like no you go yeah it was it was like a tv show sitcom situation it was funny i actually want to praise like the cafes i find they're they're so uh all of them are so unique and it's just lovely to be in them i, I every morning i go to a different cafe and all of them are just absolutely spotless super clean and delicious as well and, uh, What's the best cafe you've been to so far then, apart from the Fluffy Pancake Friendship Place? Oh, it was uh, actually yesterday I was at the Caf a Cat Cafe where you pet cats. I absolutely love cats, so I really love that. But I have one complaint about Japan, yep. and it's the trash cans. I, I can't seem to find the trash cans anywhere, but it's clean. Like, the streets are so clean, but I can't find any trash cans. I find it so weird. 
Yeah. One thing you would not praise, no trash cans. Yeah. What would you guys not praise about Japan? The nightlife music, catching up with the times of the music. It's a lot of songs that are uh, that are not played in the clubs here that should be played. Oh, like what? There's just a lot of new music that they're not playing here. And I think it's just because they're behind. Like in the uh. clubs in the U.S., they're there. And they'll make it over to Asia, I'm sure, at some point. But they're just not up. I had to tell the DJ to play all these songs. And he played them, but he didn't know. So, so they're like a little bit behind on like what just music like, is trendy right now. Yeah, just slightly. Just a little bit. Like, like a little bit delayed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it'll make its way. It just hasn't yet, you know. Yeah, no, that's cool. I haven't heard about that. So that that's yeah, something yeah. new that I know now. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me something you would praise about Japan and something you would not praise about Japan. I would say I really like the architecture and the food. That's one thing I would definitely praise. Um, I think just houses in general, the way it's like constructed, especially the more traditional ones with the, yeah, just the roofs and everything. It's like, it looks really different to European houses. So I think that's nice. Um, and the food, we're both vegetarian. So we had um, vegan ramen yesterday. Everything is just so ordered. Like everyone is so nice. Everyone walks in their own way. No one is like rude. That's really nice. <laughs> It's interesting for me to hear that someone praises the vegetarian food because I know a lot of people who really struggle finding the right food. So how did you find out about good food? How did you research that? Yeah, we did a lot of research online on Instagram and TikTok. So we put down a lot of restaurants which offer vegan and vegetarian food. So we came prepared. I think yeah. that's important. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think that it's hard to find something if you just aimlessly walk around and look for something. But I think if you do a bit of research beforehand, it's easy to find a lot of options. If you don't eat meat and fish, that's yeah. what I would do. <laughs> anything you would not praise, or anything you'd not praise that you like heard of, like the work ethics or anything that comes to mind? Yeah, I heard that people work very, very late here and they have to shut off the electricity in like the offices so they go home. At least, I don't know if it's a rumor or if it's actually true. For some companies, that's a thing. Yeah. That's what I heard. And I, I personally am not a fan of hustle culture. I think you should work to live and not live to work but yeah i've never talked to anyone japanese about it so i i don't know how they think about it in general or if it's just like a few people working this hard or if it's a normal thing so yeah that's one thing that i've heard i met someone who came recently here as a business trip and he also said that it's like crazy because you finish work so late and even after work you go out for drinks and then start early again the next day so I think that's that doesn't seem healthy to me. So yeah. <laughs> okay. So one thing we would definitely like praise about Japan is like everything so cool here and advanced. Everything like the technology and like everywhere is so clean and it's just like organized. very organized. Mm. A very organized place. You continue <laughs> the, the, the rest. Why do you leave the bad part on me? Okay. So I learned so many things. Like they have such disciplines. You know, especially when they ride the metro. Like everyone is standing in a perfect row when you go to the washrooms it's like you're going to a spa yeah. it's like so good you know i'm gonna take back this home and i'm gonna really get inspired well i think you know maybe i'm not used to it it's like um it's too serious some parts is too serious like mm -hmm. i was asking a guy in the metro i was lost like where's the where's that way he's like oh. i'm like i'm sorry what, what what did i do like they were like in their comfort zone mm -hmm. you know like so much disciplines you know i don't want to criticize this but maybe this is the normal for them but for me like we are more loud, loud yeah. <laughs> i don't know there's no right and wrong honestly mm -hmm. this is them i respect them i love them so inspiring, love it, love the food, love everything. Yeah. Praise and not praise. What I would praise about Japan is just the high working ethics that I hear. People start on time, people really work hard and that makes a lot of things really awesome. Customer service, for example, is amazing in Japan. People work a lot and they have really high discipline working. I guess I like that because I'm German. Things I would not praise about Japan is the high working culture and the high working standards because sometimes it means that people are overworking or work for unpaid overtime, that's a thing, or have like a kind of um, an amount they will get for overtime but it doesn't get higher than that what they're actually working. So that's a bit tough for the people working here in Japan. And if that was too serious for you, Baumkuchen! Japan does amazing Baumkuchen here. It's actually a German sweet. Japan does it better than we Germans do. What's that all about? I would like to know. If you're curious about more, let us know. Write us a comment in the comment down below and the next video is over here. Keep watching. There is more stuff to find out about Japan. Thanks for hanging out. This was Kathy Cat. Our socials are down below.